Hello and welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. <laughs> In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about 5 coins to watch in December. Now for those who saw my last video, while well, saying not my last video, who saw my last one, which I said 5 coins to watch in November, uh, you know, there was a lot of people interested in that and a lot of people wanted to see more of that. So guys, I'm bringing you five coins, well, that I am personally watching, up to you if you want to watch them, but guys, these are going to be the five coins. Before I dive into it, I need to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor, these are just my own personal opinions on the market, so please always do your own research before investing any money, okay? Guys, let's dive into this. What five coins should we maybe be watching? Well, I'll tell you what I'm watching. The first coin I'm watching is... Omisi Go. They changed it to OMG, the OMG network. Guys, if you're not new, or if you're not, uh, I was going to say if you're not new to it, <laughs> if you are new to Omisi Go or have not heard of Omisi Go, they're verily, they're verily, oh my god, my words, <laughs> they're very heavily involved with Ethereum or Vitalik. Uh, I don't even know how to say certain. I want to say butyrin, but I don't know if that's right. Uh, basically, they're you know they're trying to scale uh, Ethereum. They were looking to do a launch um, uh, a, a protocol called Plasma that was apparently supposed to make you know uh, coins like Ethereum do like a, a million transactions per se uh, second or something like that. And I'm not even joking here. I'm talking like really really high, really really fast transactions. Uh, but yeah, not diving too deep into the project. I believe overall it's a solid project. And, you know, just from it hitting its all-time highs again from the price that it is now. Because right now it's $2, £2.70. And just to show you in dollars a meter ago, I'm going to do this with every coin that I go over here. Because I want you to see. They've changed it to OMG Network. What do you guys think about that? Drop your comments. Let me know what you think about these, this being OMG Network. I prefer the meter ago, But, you know, if that's what they want to call it, that's what they want to call it. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's all time high was, uh, just trying to get it at the tip, it's not showing me, uh, £18.89 there, I think it actually went up to £20, it's not showing it there, let me see if I can see it here, uh, £21.28, okay, that's how high Misigo went, so now I'm looking at the prices now, £2.69, we might see a nice little 10x on this easily it, it might go higher you know i believe actually and i've done a video on it and needs to go can probably go to 100 pounds and that's purely on the fact of its total supply but again that's for another video yeah you can search it actually i'm saying it's for another video i've already got it you can search it. it's here somewhere it's buried in my videos um maybe this is something you should check out especially because it's something that i'm watching look omg to the 520 uh, 20 x gains you know i've got videos here talking about how high can it go go somewhere god knows where if not maybe i should do it <laughs> I, I thought i had it omg can you see it how high no i can't see it anywhere I thought, oh, yeah, how much OMG? There you go. So, we talk about uh, uh, becoming wealthy of OMG and stuff like that. But, yeah, guys, I think it's definitely one we should be watching because it might surprise us in the most peculiar way. And the reason I say this is because, you know, I'm looking at this here, right? 140 million supply. And uh, I have to compare it to another coin that has a similar supply. And uh, let me just grab up the, quickly the coin market cap again and show you, like, NEO is a fine example of this and i remember when neo was really really low pen like, pa the small pounds maybe just under a pound and you know shopping price and um, people missed it so you know when i see it floating it only needs to go floating to similar things like how it did before two pounds 69 look at neo guys look look how high it went a hundred and twenty 124 pounds that's what neo hit look at the supply guys like 100 million you see look at amisa go 140 million bit shy bit less so you know maybe it might not reach well i believe it can i think all these coins are going to go higher than what it did before but even if it was to take a smidge off let's call it uh even 85 pounds guys you know i just want to show you what you know what these numbers i'm talking about 85 pounds in dollars is 113 dollars you know 120 did i say 123 uh, let me just show you again. Emisa goes all time high up here. The tower. Let me skip to the tip of the mountain. Hundred. It's not showing it. Eighteen. Oh no. It's not doing. Oh no. Neo. <laughs> all over the place here, guys. So here we go. Neo was one hundred twenty-four pounds. I want to show you one hundred twenty-four pounds in dollars. One hundred twenty-four pounds in dollars. One hundred and sixty-five dollars. So we could see a similar price for Emisa go. Keep it on the radar, guys. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Next coin. 
that I'm watching December Singularity Net AGI guys I've said this so many a times in my videos and like when you invest in coins you should be looking for the future you should be thinking what's gonna actually happen in five years from now and when I look at this coin here it blows my mind purely for the fact of this look at this for those who don't know there's a robot going around in this world and she has a citizenship she's so damn intelligent that one country gave her a citizenship <laughs> Sophia the robot now I used to look at this robot a lot a couple of years back and I didn't even know anything about like singularity net and I used to go wrong man this this you know this robots intelligent like how did they make this what did they use to make this little did I know that singularity net was the reason of this coin uh, sorry of this coin <laughs> of this robot being born this intelligent robot is built around singularity net and that tells me that artificial intelligence and do you know what agi stands for agi artificial general intelligence and that is what you're seeing here because you've got artificial intelligence and you've got artificial general intelligence listen this robot is learning every day it learns and it stores and it learns and that's because of agi and the things that and the things that you know singularity in it allowing these uh new people to come along and build new robots and projects and stuff and build upon the decentralized you know artificial intelligent protocols and things like that. you know they've got a i'm showing you here they've got a sh like a marketplace where you can download people's source codes People are just taking, building source codes for robots and uploading them. And then the people are going onto the decentralized marketplace and just downloading them and putting them into their robots. And then you're seeing things like Sophia just being born and just walking around. I always say look into the future, guys. And I think in the next, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, we're going to be walking with robots. Believe it or not. And that sounds crazy. It does sound crazy. We're going to be walking with robots. And uh, she's a fine example because we're already walking with robots. <laughs> I say robot because they're pretty soon they will be robots. So yeah, that's one of the reasons I'm saying to watch Singularity Net, look into the future, and see what you see, and invest in those coins that you think are going to blow from you know the future. So I've got something in my nose. Okay, <laughs> the next coin that I think we should be looking at, or what I'm watching, this might proper fr throw people. You ain't. I don't know if you guys are ready for this one. <laughs> Decentraland. Now, like I just said, always look forward into the future, right? Decentraland is a coin which offers people digital land. Now, this sounds mad, I know, but think of it like this. If you go back 20 years from now, because we're in the year 2020, coming towards the end of the year 2020, 20 years from now, 1990, can you imagine walking around in 1990 and going to people... Oh, uh, yeah, in the future, I'm going to have this phone called an iPhone 12, and it's got amazing, like, 20 megapixel camera, and I can take video, and you're <laughs> and you're saying this to a guy that's standing there holding one of those old camera phones. <laughs> no, not camera phone, holding one of those old cameras, the ones where you got, you go, and then it takes a photo, and then you've got to go into the shop for them to print it, and then they pull it under, like, the red light, and then they do, like, the tampering in the water, and then they, they print their pictures, and then they come and collect it. Can you imagine what people think of you? Matter of fact, can you imagine if you had a time machine and you went back to the year 1990 and then whatever you've got right now, whatever you're looking at me on right now, because you're watching me through something digital, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your, your laptop, your computer, whatever it is that you're watching me from, let's say your iPad, your tablet. Can you imagine walking back to someone in 1990 and going, oh, what do you think of this? They'd be like, what the hell is that? Where'd you get that from? They're probably trying to take it off you. So what I'm getting at is this. 20 years ago was a massive difference to what it was now. We didn't even have internet. Do you know the internet was born in 1995? Well, technically speaking, the government had internet. But the public did not have internet in the 1990s. In 1990s, I was running around. I was playing. <laughs> I, was, I was skipping with my sister. <laughs> I was getting dressed up in Barbie dolls, <laughs> in Barbie doll clothes. I was sitting there playing Barbie with my sister. I'm a Barbie girl. Anyway, I was sitting there dressed up because my sister used to brush my hair. I didn't even have any hair. Like, 
I got Afro hair. I, I used to get dressed up in girl clothes. Oh, hey, I'm not. I'm not like that, by the way. Just like you know, when you got an older sister and you're like four years old, <laughs> you don't have a choice. <laughs> you simply don't have a choice. Uh, but yeah, what I'm saying is that it was a different time to what it is now. Yeah, and uh, twenty years from now, we could be in a world where digital land becomes a thing right and to show you this they've got many projects that are already running which where you can buy digital land today and i've got it on my phone let me just find this app there's an app on my phone right and it just beat me a minute ago and it's it's called upland let me see if i can find it on here upland is an app and it's a, it's like it shows loads of digital land that people can buy right now today and what's happening is uh people are buying it uh, let me see if I can. I'm trying to get it. Trying to get it right. Let me see. People can buy land. Yeah. Here, here it is. Look. People can buy land. And you imagine in the future, you know, VR's being produced. Uh, people can walk around in VR and stuff. And people can buy land and they can put ad space on there. They can put stuff on there. They can sell the land. And this is what's happening right now, guys. Today, digital land is, is being performed. And people seem think it's crazy. But right now, if you get into it now while it's young and fresh, who knows how much that land can be worth? Because we all know how much land is worth in real life. And if you want to buy like a property in Chicago or buy some land or some farmland, it's expensive. So who's to say that in 20 years from now, digital land is not a thing? Anyway, that's I needed to bring that to you. You know, that's what you should be watching. Upland is another one. Decentraland is another one. Uh, you can check them all out. But yeah, I'm watching Decentraland purely for the fact that it's uh, talking about digital land. You know, look at this. I'm looking at here. Welcome to Decentral. And look, and this is what I was just saying. You know, people can run games or whatever, and uh, people can build stuff on top of their land space. And it does look like a game, yeah. But people might start taking it serious in the future, and you know, having digital land. And I can imagine someone like uh, a, a big company name coming to you and saying, "Hey, can I put some ad space in your land? Yeah, you're getting a lot of attention in your land." So uh, yeah that's something to think about let's move on to my next coin what i think we should be watching and funny enough talking about games the next coin i think we should be watching <coughs> whoa came out wrong <coughs> engine coin engine coin is heavily based around <coughs> sorry i have to catch my breath there whoa, hold on <coughs> engine coin is based around gaming games and future of gaming and I think what they're trying to do is uh, build a coin that can be used in games. And uh, not just a coin, things like items. You can take one item from one game and put it into another. And you never have to worry about losing your item because you own it. And what they're doing is they're calling them, there's a certain name for these type of coins. They call them, I think it's an NFT, a non-fungible token, which means that there's only one of them. You can never get more than one. There's only one of these coin of these t type of tokens. But basically, the coin represents so burping and everything here. The item that you have, and these items you can take them into other games. Can you imagine playing a game like Call of Duty? You're having a gun, and the next thing you're playing another game, something so totally random like Super Mario, <laughs> and then you can take your gun into Super Mario because you own the token. You you own it as a a non fungible token. That's basically what they're saying they're trying to do. So, uh, yeah, this is another coin to watch. December. What's its all-time highs? Let's have a look at when it's high as. I should have done this with the other ones, really. Uh, 36 pence. My God. 36 pence. So, yeah, you're looking at almost the... Uh, what was that? Three times your gains back. Yeah, three times. Mm, all right. Put fires and get three grand back. Nice little quick bit of money there. <laughs> but I believe it can go higher because I'm looking at the supply here, right? And just off the back of my head, I can tell you, what, what, 16 quid? I believe we can see a 16 pound easily what billion tokens 16 quid that's what I believe and then the reason I'm saying 16 quid right because like, I'm looking at billion and I do this in most of my videos if you're new watching it's got si a billion to uh, tokens in supply right and let me just grab up a fine example of another coin that has a billion tokens what's this chain link does chain link have a billion yes one billion tokens see it right here total supply let's have a look down here how high chain link went as an all-time high chain link went up to look at this price look 14 pounds 50 14 pounds 50 pence you see just show you 14 pounds 50 pence in dollars for chain link 14 pounds 50 pence was 19 dollars 
you see that was one coin Look, I'm going to show you another another coin with roughly a billion tokens right just to show you so you can see I'm not being insane here because right, you you know we, we see these prices and we go oh a billion tokens or oh, 10 pence now how's it gonna hit 16 quid I'm just showing you look billion total supply you know uh, let's just quickly go to another coin real quick to show you why I'm comparing it to these sort of prices where is EOS EOS is here EOS has 1 billion 24 million just just over a billion in in supply so very similar look at the price two pounds but look look how high it went guys look let's have a little look here look it's not let me get the tip 14 pounds there I believe it went up to 15 pounds something Look, 15 pound 39 pence let me show you what 15 pound 39 pence it's almost 20 dollars 15 pounds 39 pence what it is 20 dollars 50 cents so when I look at those two coins of a billion in supply because it sounds funny when I was saying it before but when you look at that like as, on a really f like firm level you know a billion tokens similar to them and it's sitting on 10 pence now makes you wonder in it maybe you could see some insane gains with this 15 16 pounds and I just want to show you the price of uh, engine coin in dollars right now because I think 10 cents is like 17 pence might be wrong let's just check 17 cents no 13 cents well I was well off <laughs> 13 cents right now can you imagine a 13 cents going into a 20 dollar coin that's insane gains you know what don't usually do it in these videos but I just want to show you you imagine you had a just an example I'm doing it in dollars this time look thousand dollars you divide it by 13 cents because that's what it is today <laughs> you get 7,692 yeah we're just gonna take that and then you times that you are patient enough for it to wait to bloom and do its thing and then you times it by oh you times it by twenty dollars you sell each one for twenty dollars each <sighs> hundred and fifty three thousand dollars anyway guys that's just a quick glimpse into what I do on my channel <laughs> anyway guys last coin yeah last coin that I'm watching in December is Neo now the reason I'm watching Neo right and they say it's an, uh, similar to ethereum but for you know people or over in China you know smart contracts and stuff but the reason I'm putting Neo on your radar you know, as I'm watching it I want to buy some and I'm praying that there's a big drop and it comes down to like four pounds again so I can buy some purely for the fact that you can stake this coin and I'm gonna do a video on stake and I think I might bring it next or or, or some sometime soon you know because Neo hit insane gains before and if Neo can hit insane gains, you know, 123 pounds. I showed you this in in, in the video uh, in a, a, about five ten minutes ago. Comparing it with another coin, I can't remember which one. Maybe it's a mese ago. If it can hit 123 pounds, then it can definitely do it again. And you know, it's 12 pounds now. You're looking at 10x, 10 times your money. So now, if you're if you're like me, the average person, and you you know, you're not buying biscuits, you're sticking to your beans on toast, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you, you're putting your money aside. And uh, you're not buying t-shirts and jeans and shoes every day because I know you like the Nike trainers and Nike or as you call them in America if you're saving your money and you're putting your money aside and investing it quite smartly you know you could see some good gains you could be able to get a thousand pounds and invest in this and yeah turn it into 10 grand so anyway that's just in uh, as I say it's just investment advice no it's not investment advice I'm just telling you what I'm thinking guys those were my top five coins for December I'm sorry it was a bit of a long one but yeah I wanted to sort of dive in and you know just play play on the fact that these coins you know they're very different in their own ways you know, like again talking about land and I really believe that these are something we should be watching especially going into this new year if these coins right and i'm talking about all the coins now all the coins in the market is set to do crazy explosive moves then you best believe that these coins that i'm talking as well the central land engine coin neo they're all gonna go with it yeah so i'm gonna leave you with that I, I don't know was this helpful to you if it was please drop a like and if you're new watching give me a subscribe and yeah i want to thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video I'll see you later, guys. Cheers.